On the economy tonight, big news for millions of Americans looking to buy a home or save money on the one you already have. Mortgage rates have just fallen to the lowest point ever. The average rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage now 4.69%. Is this a large opportunity? David Muir reports on the banks again tonight. David. Diane, I know when we both saw this headline today, we thought, finally, is this what the millions of struggling homeowners we've been reporting on here have been waiting to hear? The chance to refinance with so many owing more than their homes are now worth. Here's what we heard today. They are the lowest mortgage rates since they began keeping records in 1971. On a $250,000 home purchased five years ago, refinancing could reduce your payment from $1,163 a month to just over $1,000. That's saving $1,500 a year. But we wondered, will the millions of struggling homeowners qualify for these new low rates? The banks aren't making it easy. It's water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. They do not want to have further losses. So that's why they're so stingy. And in another move to put even more pressure on those struggling homeowners, a new warning shot from mortgage giant Fannie Mae. Walk away from your home and you won't get another mortgage for at least seven years. And they say they'll sue homeowners where they can to recoup what's not been paid. Quote, we're taking these steps to highlight the importance of working with your servicer. But on Capitol Hill today, lawmakers turned the tables asking, you, what about the lenders? Uh, Could they be doing more the for the homeowner? Why in the world aren't you giving loan modifications to more eligible borrowers? And with these new penalties from Fannie Mae, could this unfairly target homeowners who thought they were doing everything right? Take the Hershey's, who we first met last year in Phoenix. Yeah. This is the house being built? Yeah. Yeah, happy day. <laughs> it's funny. They put down a sizable down payment in a red-hot neighborhood. Then the housing crash for sale signs everywhere and the value of their home a third of what it was, just as they learned they had to move for a job. But no buyers. So what do they do? Until you've actually lived it and done everything you thought was right to get to that point and then had it just kind of all come crashing down around you. So what is next for the Hershey's? Yeah, that's what I asked them today. They said they put the home on the market, no buyers. So they considered walking away. They tried to modify their mortgage. They didn't qualify. And so what happened is the home finally went to auction a third of what they bought it for.